The revolutionary new sequel, AI2, by Paradise Decay, is coming 2023. Sweet! If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been, like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. This is Kayak VR running on the PC. And this is the PlayStation VR 2 version of the game. I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Now this game on the PC was my game of the year for 2022. And it looks like this is in the top three all time selling games on the PlayStation VR 2. Now the reason why I'm playing this game on the PC is so that I can get a feel for the depth, the graphics, the clarity and everything. Also, I have some PC keys to give away for the game. If you want to win a copy of the game on PC, I'm going to drop those keys in the video. So keep an eye out for the key dropping. Now I'm running this game on an RTX 3080 Ti graphics card. This is so realistic on the PC and this is one of the reasons why I gave it my game of the year. I'm now going to switch to the uh, PlayStation VR 2 version of the game and I'm going to give you my initial impressions. Okay guys I have to say I'm very impressed. I've just come from the PC version of the game. Now don't forget I played the game on my Rift S. My Rift S, I can see the screen door. On the PlayStation VR 2, there's no screen door. So straight away, this is really standing out a lot better. Having said that, this game would look a lot better using a Quest 2 or Quest Pro or a headset better than the Rift S. I can't really judge the game based on the headset I was using on the PC but there's something about this version on the uh, PlayStation VR 2 the colors it feels really warm compared to the uh, PC version the colors look a lot more realistic a lot more vibrant the darks are darker the whites are brighter straight away as soon as I jumped into this game coming from the PC the colors hit me I've got goosebumps just from the colours because it feels so much more natural. Ideally really I should play this game on PC with the uh, Quest Pro. Now the benefit of playing this game on the PlayStation VR 2 is all the achievements. So I've never played this game on the PlayStation VR 2 yet and I want to try to get some achievements. I did notice there's a new option in the menu which is called Tour. I've uh, not seen that option before on PC. So we're going to check it out. People have been telling me there's a sunken submarine over here somewhere. And there's an achievement for finding it so... I never found it on the PC. But I'm more curious about finding the whale. There's a whale in this game. And the sound in this game is so good you can track the whale just by sound alone. Okay, so we're looking for a submarine. Submarine wreck over here somewhere. There's a shark. That's boot. That's boot. That means there's a submarine somewhere. Can I see it? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to try and stick my head. Look at the sharks. I'm going to try and stick my head into the water so we can see the submarine better. 
can we... Oh! Bang my head on the table. Probably not a good idea to do that, but... Oh, there we go. There's a submarine. Can you see it? I'm hoping this has been picked up on the... Uh, on the video. Let me uh, turn away from the light. Let me try and turn around. I can see the... Submarine there, look. Can you see it? There we go. It's like an old U-boat. Those shots look so amazing. Got some bad news for you boys. Everyone's dead. Look at the shadow effect. This game is constantly surprising me. I've got many hours of the game on the PC. I've just discovered something brand new. Look at the seagull. So we're going to try and find the whale. I want to try and get a really nice... Uh, what? Galophobia. What's that mean? What's that the fear of? I need to look that up. Is that the fear of open water? Or is that the fear of sharks? Now if I listen carefully I might be able to hear the sonar from the whale. Let's go over here. Let me... I know this game's got like a boundary so if I go past this buoy I might reset back at the beginning of the, uh, the level. This is running super smooth. And I have to say this is one of the best looking games I've seen on PlayStation VR 2 yet. If they can do this with this game, why can't No Man's Sky be the best version ever on PlayStation VR 2 instead of being the worst looking game on the console so far? No Man's Sky, you really need to get your finger out. Now, people have been telling me the game play looks a lot better with the latest patch. Um, where the end of my boat is basically in a circle around you in No Man's Sky. It looks really sharp and clear. But the rest of the game looks really blurry. I mean, this is super sharp and clear. Look at this. I know No Man's Sky uses a different type of engine, but it's no excuse for the uh, graphics to be blurry. There we go. I'm not going to be able to turn on in time, but we're going to hunt for the whale. So the whale should appear around here somewhere. And it tends to uh, move from here all the way over there. I'm going to drop a key for a copy of the game on PC right now. So at the top of the screen there should be a key. Type that code into Steam to grab a copy of the game. First come, first served. I don't even know if the whales are available in the PlayStation VR 2 version. Haptics are really nice. I can feel the uh, haptics. My controller is rumbling when I, when I paddle. This is a showcase game to put people into for the first time in VR. It's going to blow them away. This game does have like a race mode, so you can race against your friends. I tend to jump into this game just to relax. This is like being on holiday. I'm in a kayak in the middle of the ocean with these amazing views. My brain thinks it's real. I can feel the canoe bobbing up and down. The ocean looks really deep. Don't forget, I'm used to playing this game on the Rift S. So I'm used to seeing a bit of screen door. I can't see any screen door now, so it's adding to the immersion. And I can see why this is one of the top selling games on the uh, PlayStation VR 2. I'm curious to see how the night level is with the blacks. I want to see if I can see any Miura. I can see 
a little bit of Miura when I look up at this sky. It's very fine though. My good friend and fellow content creator Daysnetic has tried my PSVR 2. He's also tried another friend's PSVR 2 and he noticed a lot more Miura in my friend's headset than in mine. The Miura in my friend's headset was a lot worse than mine. So I do believe it's all down to the technology used in the headsets. Maybe some of the components are different. Okay, so I don't see any whales yet. We're going to do a lap around the buoy. And then we'll jump into um, the night time. That's so cool. I just want to see more and more content for this game. I thought I saw Finn then, but that's a buoy in the distance. Right over there I can see like um, the buoy sticking up. I thought it was a fin. The whale has been known to breach around here on the PC. And I thought I heard him breach behind me. I'll probably edit some of the video. I'm just going to go up and down here a few times, try to uh, spot the whale. The PC footage I shown earlier was running on my PC on the maximum settings. There's no settings for this game on the PlayStation VR 2. It's just using the power of the PlayStation 5. So I don't know if this is on epic settings or just high. I can't really tell. But it looks amazing. The draw distance and everything. The clouds. Look at the textures on this. I can see all the scratches on the metal. I can see the sun reflecting. I can see the water glistening on the end of the paddles. My sense controller is low. Okay, so no whale. I'm going to have to jump into the uh, night mission quickly. My uh, controllers are low. Let me head back. Okay. Let's try the storm. Okay, so this is the storm level. My controllers, the batch is very low, so I'm going to have to um, jump into this very quickly. I want to see what the lightning looks like. The rain looks really cool. Look at the rocks. This is running really smooth as well. This feels as smooth as the uh, PC version of the game. I'm going to drop another key for the PC version right now. So go grab the game on Steam. Okay, that looks amazing. The sounds sound amazing as well with the surround sound my controller must have not been in the dock charging up correctly this is stunning guys it really is I can't feel the rain in my headset which is a shame but I can feel the rain on my hands. I can feel the raindrops on my hands. Developers, can I feel the rain on my head please? Let's say hello to the dog and then we'll check out the uh, nighttime mission. Hello doggy. Go inside mate, it's raining. German Shepherd there, look. This is the sort of experience that just blows people away. Okay, let's have one more lightning flash and then we'll check out the night time level quickly. That view is amazing.
head towards the open ocean. Oh, wow, what a show. I don't know how long the uh, PlayStation VR 2 controller will last on a low battery before it's totally dead. I've yet to uh, test it out. Okay, let's jump into the uh, night time. <laughs> Free roam, night time. I just want to check out the black levels. Wow, this is really dark. I don't see any mirror. Even here there's no mirror. In these dark areas, this is creepy. Definitely a lot more realistic with the black levels compared to like the uh, PC. With the uh, cloud layer, I can see the mirror a lot more than with the uh, total blacks. Let's check out the tour mode in a different level. Then we're going to come back here and look for the whale before my controller dies. Costa Rica's the new one. And we're going to do the tour. No controllers required. Daytime. Beach, jungle. Let's do the beach. So this is tour mode. I don't know what it does. I've got no paddles. Look at the fish. I'm up shit creek without a paddle, as they say. I do feel lost without my paddles. So are we going on a tour? I feel like I'm just floating here. Here's my headset lock. Here's my canoe. There are inflatable toys to find in the main game. I do remember on the PC, I found one of these inflatable toys in the jungle. I had to escort it with my paddle back to the ocean. And I got an achievement for doing that. So this water is so clear. There are supposed to be like manta rays in this part of the uh, the level on this map. I'm assuming this tour guide is just to show people new to VR. They can sit in the chair, just sit and relax, enjoy the game. Look at the fish. You can take it all in. Currently this game has got four levels. Massive levels to explore, to race around. And if you've got a PlayStation VR 2, I highly recommend it. If you're having a bad day at work or just having a shitty day in general, come home, have a cup of coffee, jump into this game, just sit and relax. Now I can imagine jumping into this game, listening to a podcast. Since I've had the operations to my eyes, I'm a lot more sensitive to the light. It's a lot brighter, so this is really bright for me. And it feels like a, a normal, natural day when the sun's out. Do you know what I really, really want right now? What I really, really, really want is a fishing rod. I want to be able to fish in this game in my canoe. Is that piranha? I've never actually been around this side of this island. I just assumed it was out of bounds. There's a ray. We found the rays. Okay, so the rays are this side of the island. That's why I never found them before. I want to see the rays and then we're going to skip back to Norway and try to find a whale. That's a big ray. Okay, screw the tour, I'm going to find a ray. I've never really jumped into the race mode. Some kelp. 
but you can race against your friends. There's no like uh, multiplayer or co-op, but you can um, do the race, get a high score, and then your friends can try and beat your high score. And uh, you can see your friends as ghosts. I think we found him. Found the ray. Yes. Nice. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. Chase it. I've seen one of these in real life many, many moons ago when we went to SeaWorld in Orlando. Amazing. And they look so realistic. See you later, buddy. Okay, time to find the whale. So these are the four levels. We've got Costa Rica, Antarctica, which has got a killer whale, Norway, and Australia. Let's head to Antarctica. I do know there's a killer whale there. Okay, I know where this killer whale is, so this is Antarctica. And these icebergs are so realistic, you can push them away with your paddles. Can we get over here? Get some speed up. Can we do it? Oh, not quite, PD. Sliding on the ice. You have to push yourself away as well. It's very easy to get stuck on the beach. Now, somebody told me there's a crashed UFO in this level. I could never find it on the PC. So I think that person who told me is lying. We do have penguins. They are real. If this is like the PC version, we're in for a show. There we go. Amazing. That's the closest I've been to that whale as well. So that whale is going to make his way around this level. Every now and then you'll see a big giant fin. So you can actually try and catch up with it. And it will actually go under your boat and it's massive. Okay, here's a penguin. Now you can kill these guys, so do be careful. Do not hit them with your oar. Hello mate. You okay? Just be careful, there's a killer whale hunting you. I'm off to find a humpback mate. Okay, one last attempt to find the whale, let's go this way. There seems to be a lot more fish in the water on the uh, PlayStation VR 2. I don't know if it's because of the, uh, the visuals, but I have noticed like a lot more fish. I'm really glad this game's doing well for the developers because I want more content. I did suggest to them a volcano level seeing the lava coming down the sides it's an old uh, old plastic can there I'm expecting my controller to die at any time so I'm just going to do my outro here I'm also going to be continuing to search for the humpback so after my uh, outro there might be some bonus footage of the whale thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe be sure to my little bell I'll see you in the next one. Where's that whale? Oh, it's a long way back. Oh! The whale's there! It's behind me. I've gone too far. Okay, he's coming this way. My heart skipped a beat there. Well, I'm having a whale well of a time. That's all I can say. Oh, I heard it. 
It's over there, look. So the whale is spawning in different locations, guys. It's not over there, look. As I was walking from the, the the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doctor Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around, and I went up to approach him. <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something, <laughs> but I actually just went, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. You tried to salvage it, Nathy. <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. oh. that roast! Hey. Hello. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. By the way, there, Mike. Why is PD going the wrong way around the track? Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. Yeah, I gotta say, he's really. His eyes have been no, fixed. Around. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Well, there he is. Jesus Christ. That's the, oh, off track. Bully. PD, I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, sorry, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Jack. <We're> sorry, <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry, man. PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally thrown off by that. What is blissful life to be looking for Steve? <laughs>